Oh, welcome back. Glad to see you today. You know, in every series, there has to be a crazy day. And this is our crazy day. And this is our crazy day. And this is our crazy day. So we thought we'd do a painting that's really far out and that maybe it'll excite the imagination. We're going to have a little campfire down here. Using a black canvas, I just washed it. I'm going to put a background image on it. Center will center it. Enlarge it will make it as big as the, the scene. Tile will tile it. Just layer after layer, but do the one that's farthest away first and work forward, always working forward. But I want to I wanna get you to try being creative on canvas, just to, to take your time and, and sit down and have nothing in mind when you start. Just have a good feeling and be happy and, and in love with life and your world and, and sit down and begin playing. And if you feel good about yourself and the world, it'll show in your painting and all these little things will happen. Let's add another layer above that background layer. So we've got a background one and we've got a background two. Mm. And I certainly enjoy what I'm doing. I spend half my life doing somebody else's thing. Painting should make you happy. It does nothing else. It should make you happy. Actually, let's make a background three. Should have started with that one, probably. But it's okay. We don't make we don't make accidents. Just happy little accidents. And if it doesn't make you happy, <laughs> you're doing the wrong thing. Because it's fun. And if you can do things all of your life that make you happy, needless to say, you're going to be a happy person. And you know, when, when you buy your first tube of paint, you get an artist's license. And that license says you can do anything that makes you happy. So, the layer that you walk on is the walk layer. If you name it the walk layer, you never forget what layer it is that you're walking on. It's a very good thing to have. really already enjoy what you do in life. If you do, then you'll do a good job.
give him a shake <laughs> and just beat the devil out of him. There's a fill tool here. Right there. Click it. It'll fill that in. Maybe we want some water over here. A little bit of water. We're going to go to our tiles. Scroll down. We can change the color. See that? Now they're blue. I'm gonna change the color just a little. We can change the transparency. Hmm, a little darker. It's too dark. Let's go back. Yeah, that's good. And now we're going to make a foreground layer with trees. I'll put that in the foreground. And all the big trees around, and we'll just sort of see what happens. Let's decide. Maybe there's a happy tree, evergreen tree. He lives right there. Start with just touching the canvas. I think everybody needs a friend, so we're going to give him one right here. Some nice, bright colors. It's a fantastic day. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> Come to think of it, every day is a good day to be alive. All right, so I think we need to add a little waterfall now the way you animate it is you select a tile in the animations go to plus and you double click this then you select your next one hit OK and you hit this plus Select your next one. And you put the time in. And you can see it animates it. So, I've already done that for the waterfall. You can see here. So let's put like a nice little waterfall in the background.
we made another accident because that doesn't go there but that's okay we'll just cover it up right there thought today we'd show you how to do snow and we've had several requests people asking us how do you put snow how do you make it look like it snow is falling so I thought that's what we'd do today right here I've got a generate snow particles event I'm gonna double click the magnifying glass go right back to the center Just double click that there you go and all it is is a show particles and it's got no time limit on it I've got some snow particles I've already made and we're gonna put those in here It's a lot of layers and it's a lot of busy stuff going on with the the particles but this is only one little scene right here so it's not that bad I think we need some some clouds some happy little clouds so we're gonna click on the scene settings And I've got to find my clouds. And there they are. And we'll put them behind everything. too high. It's too low. Put them right about there. We're going to go to our scene settings again. We're going to put a blur on the clouds. There we go. A little blur. Gonna right click and <clears throat> go to set start scene. All right, and that looks pretty good. I think it's time to give this one a signature.